think uh, Halliburton and uh, Baker and Hughes have uh, both warned in their profit reports that um, they're going to have less activity in Australia, uh, where they've been expanding into onshore drilling quite recently. Right. So uh, what, what kind of scale are we talking about here? I mean, how many operations are they pulling back? For them, it's tiny scale, really. They're, they're huge drillers in the US and around the world. But, uh, and they haven't given any idea of the scale, but um, it is significant that Australia was sort of was singled out, whereas other, other countries around the world, they're, um, they're continuing. And I think what that shows is the level of onshore um, drilling that has increased in Australia recently. We've had unconventional gas searches and people looking for oil of late, spurred by um, you know, what were high oil prices. But that is now uh, pulling back. And the reason they're pulling back there is because, um, or the reason companies are pulling back is because that, that, that's the area where you can really pull off production quickly and you can really demobilise um, crews quickly. Whereas the, uh, the bigger offshore um, operations, um, you know, if you think prices are going to come back, you, you sort of keep operations going there because they're expensive, to, um, expensive and it takes a long time to, to shut in. And I assume the converse is true as well, where they're pretty easy to get rolling again if situations improve? Yeah, that's right. I mean, um, what we'd be seeing here is maybe the idling of some drill rigs and stuff. They're not going to pack up their kit and, and ship it back to the States. So um, they're basically just warning that, you know, their customers, people like, um, well, Santos, Beach, uh, Chevron, um, those sort of people who, are, who have been operating in places like the Cooper Basin are, are going to be pulling back. Right now, if you look at Australia as a market for people looking for some way to get into this, this mm. shale oil market, obviously our currency will help us in the future as people think the dollar's going to keep falling. Are yep. there other structural issues here that make Australia uncompetitive in a global sense? Not really. I mean, the structural, maybe infrastructure, uh, is the main reason that, or one of the reasons why um, Australian shale won't take off like it has in the US, at least in the speed, if, even if it is good quality stuff um, that they drill into. Uh, the US was a market that was set up with pipelines and infrastructure for a long time and a big um, a big supply base as far as services like drilling goes. Whereas in, in Australia, you're out in the middle of nowhere. If you, if you find gas, for instance, um, in shale, you can't actually hook it up to a pipe and send it to a market. So, right, so do you think we could be seeing a little bit more of this? Of the pullbacks? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the other thing is that in Australia, a lot of this is early stage stuff. So this is the place where companies are going to go, oh, if, if they need to pull back cash and they're going to do it on exploration and development, this, this is the kind of place it's going to be, uh, it's going to be done. Uh, we've seen Santos come out and say that they're going to cut $700 million from what was a $2.7 billion um, spending budget. That's next, sorry, this year. Um, Woodside have said that they will cut back. They haven't given a number on that. They're actually offshore, so that, that's a little bit different. That's likely to be actually offshore exploration drilling, I think. And we've still got to hear from companies like uh, Beach and also Origin. Uh, Origin uh, Chief Executive Grant King, he floated that he would do a little bit of uh, capital spending cutting. Uh, hasn't given any details around that. We might see that in their quarterly or their uh, profit report next month. Right, now you did say that these operations are pretty small in the grand scheme of things for these companies, but in Australia, it's not mm. an insignificant industry. So do you think with all these shutdowns, we'll see lots of miners in the dole queue now? Or? I don't think it's going to go that that bad that quickly um, again that what we're seeing in Australia is nothing like the the proportionate cuts we're seeing in the states BHP for instance last week they had a, what was it they had a four billion dollar onshore US spending budget they cut that analysts think they've cut that by half um, whereas we had um, a company called Senex they're a smaller company but they're you know heavily invested in onshore and they've cut back probably about 20 or 30 percent um, they knocked about 20 or 30 million dollars out of their capital budget for this year so um, it, it's not going to be as drastic and also here a lot of a lot of the drilling is for gas everybody knows we're going to be short gas because um, we're opening up a whole lot of uh, LNG projects at Gladstone um, yeah so no I don't think we're going to see mass mass layoffs um, where we are seeing them is project completion so you've got you've got these LNG projects in Gladstone uh, coming off and there's no you know you've got big crews on construction crews on that and there's no new projects for them to go to um, go to now but that's been something that's been in the pipeline for a while right as always we'll be keeping an eye on that oil price Matt James yeah. thanks very much thanks Eric